I just had a medical procedure, and I'm pretty high. Ob one plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. everybody how are y'all doing bruh we still got the medical band on bro but some lit news just dropped bro hey kids stay away from drugs they dope me up we're gonna record this video all right why because some dope news just dropped before we get started man click that like button bro you got it bro i'm the most lit channel in the whole wide world like the video we have some big news items for this video the first one nintendo announced a nindy direct and the second news item the xbox series x full specs got revealed let's talk about both of them first the nintendo presentation an indie world presentation that's right you know what this means that leak about an indies presentation and then a nintendo direct at the end of the month seems legit now so we're probably going to get a nintendo direct at the end of this month <laughs> i'm so loopy right now but we're going to talk about it all right and so tomorrow, March 17th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, an Indie World Showcase for about 20 minutes about indie games coming to the Switch. I'm definitely going to be live streaming this. And I have to be honest, bro. I'm going to be watching this indie presentation to see what indie games I can play on my Xbox. Why? Game Pass... A lot of these indie games are free, completely free, <coughs> through my Game Pass subscription. Streets of Rage 4 is coming to Game Pass, and so I'm getting it, and I get to get achievements too. Nintendo, y'all tripping, bruh. The truth serum is talking right now. Nintendo, you've been letting me down, bro. One o'clock. PM Eastern Standard Time. I will be live streaming it. So make sure you have your notifications. You're subscribed to my channel. We're going to be checking it out. It should be lit, man. The last indie presentation, Dauntless, got announced, bro. Dauntless is lit, bro. And so I uh, can't wait, can't wait to see what new indie games will announce. Hopefully, we get a Streets of Rage 4 launch date, man. I love Streets of Rage on my um on my sega genesis and so let's go get it all right and the next news item i'm trying to do this video before pain medic before the pain hits it sets in and then i gotta take some pain medication bro you see how dedicated i am to you guys bro come on bro all right <coughs> the full specs for the xbox series x have been revealed and it is a beast bro i was watching a digital foundry video not too long ago and the xbox series x is gonna have uh the technology in this console is not even in pcs yet bro and so microsoft has future proofed their system we're gonna go through the specs and then i'm gonna look at a uh, um, we're gonna share an article from the verge and i'm gonna share my thoughts man but bro first the CPU, eight cores at 3.8 gigahertz and a custom Zen 2 CPU, bro. This system is going to be a beast, bro. Day one by Microsoft. Hey, I'm turning into a straight Microsoft fanboy right now. I'm still covering Nintendo content, but Microsoft has been holding down gaming in 2020 for me, bro. Bleeding Edge Alpha was lit. Hey, I was playing the Bleeding Edge um, off stream. I was winning matches, bro, with some randoms, bro. We were killing it. 
the GPU, the, and this is the biggest thing, 12 teraflops. And we've all, they've already revealed there's 10 teraflops, but it goes into more detail. 52 CUs at 1.85 gigahertz custom RDNA, RDNA 2 GPU. I really think uh, Microsoft knows that their system is going to be more powerful than the PlayStation 5 because they know they have contacts with AMD. Um, that's why, and they're showing, they're revealing all this stuff. Sony has been, Sony, y'all so sorry, bro. Yeah, PlayStation killed it last gen, but y'all ain't been, y'all been quiet for like two years, bro. Um, I really think Microsoft is going to um, do good this generation, and not just console sales, because dudes are just thinking about console sales, but Microsoft is looking at their ecosystem they want to get you in their ecosystem game pass pc bro if you got a pc or windows pc you really already got an xbox bro and you're giving microsoft money bro um the die size is 360.5 millimeters the process seven nan nanometer enhanced memory bro this memory is crazy 16 gigabytes gddr6 with 322 megabytes bus bro that's crazy bro the games are going to be lit 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 memory bandwidth 10 gigabytes uh 560 gigabytes per second six gigabytes at 336 gigabytes per second internal storage we get the confirmed internal storage it's coming with a one terabyte custom solid state drive and so and but there's something interesting with um how they're doing the 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 memory and so um they, i mean the storage so internal storage i personally think it should have been at least two terabytes one terabyte but it's, it is two terabytes i'm gonna let you guys see um because one terabyte bro that's gonna get eight eaten up in quick especially with four games at 4k <coughs> all right io throughput 2.4 gigabytes raw 4.8 gigabytes compressed with custom hardware decompression block don't want to know what that means expandable storage one terabyte expansion card and matches internal storage exactly so I think on the um, they sh there were pictures on the internet and they showed like s uh, a slot in the back, so we're getting a one terabyte expansion card, which is lit. External storage, USB 3.2 external HDD support. I have a eight terabyte <coughs> um, external hard drive, and so. Um, I'm hoping my 8 terabyte hard drive, which more than likely will be compatible. So I'm going to have 10 terabytes, bro, of storage on my, because I already have an 8 terabyte external hard drive, and hopefully I can just connect it right to my Xbox Series X and just continue gaming, bro. Hey, I'm not as hype as I usually am, because of course, we're a little loopy right now, bro. Um, optical drive, 4K UHD blu-ray drive performance target 4k 60 frames per second up to 120 frames per second brah that's why i appreciate microsoft man they're gonna give us a quality quality console one of my things with like why i was such a big nintendo fan especially with the um, NES, Super Nintendo, and the Nintendo 64. Nintendo was giving me the best quality gaming, bro. The the NES at the time, the graphics were better than everything else. Super Nintendo, graphics were better than the Sega Genesis. Nintendo 64, graphics were better than the PlayStation 1. GameCube, graphics were better than the PlayStation 2. And then after the GameCube, Nintendo gave up, bro. The Wii, I mean, don't get me wrong. Nintendo still delivered good games, but they gave up as far as just giving us the best hardware to run the games at the best performance. The Wii, man, I played my, that's when I started, that's when I became an Xbox fan, bro. When the Wii came out, Xbox 360, 
was my go-to console. They had the best third-party ports. Um, after the Wii, the Wii U. I love my Wii U. Now, I'm not keeping it a buck. I still like the Wii U. But again, man, the games weren't uh, the quality, the performance. And now with the Switch, I like the Switch, man. I got four Switches, bro. But lately, Nintendo's been disappointing me with the quality, man. Portability? I don't care about no portability. Now we got xCloud. Third-party games on the Switch run like trash, bro. Truth Serum talking right now. I'm done with this video, but the specs for the Xbox Series X has been revealed. Lit stuff. I might do a follow-up video tomorrow or something, but dope, dope, dope stuff. What do you guys think about everything I talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I didn't do it, bro. This. Yes, I did. Cuphead. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know before you go, bro. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Peace.